Fire officials in Highlands County say they now have a full perimeter around this brush fire right here that since Tuesday has burned more than 300 acres in Lake Placid. Now 85% contained the nearly 200 people who were evacuated last night are back in their homes this evening. 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian takes you inside the area as neighbors get their first look at what's left and say they're thankful it wasn't any worse. Being in here and seeing it firsthand, it's amazing that no one was hurt and no homes were destroyed. When you see how intense this fire was, burning large swaths of the forest right up against people's homes. Now, as firefighters work to continue containing things like hot spots that keep popping up, they're thankful that some rain is here to help. And you can see the forward progression where the fire actually went right directly through here. Firefighters from the State Forest Service and local departments keeping a close watch on this burned area of Lake Placid, a blaze now pinched off from further spreading. Officials say drought conditions led to this fire taking over more than 300 acres, sending 190 people out of their homes. But aggressive action led to lessening the blow. Only two homes received damage. Five structures like sheds and barns burned down, including this one belonging to Mona Lisa and Phil Payne, who couldn't scope out the damage until earlier this morning. They lost two cars and Phil's work tools, but they say it could have been worse. It's still, it's still sinking in as to what actually happened in this area. Thankful the home's still here. Yes, thank God, thank God. I mean, it is it is a miracle of God and our hardworking men and women who saved our home. It's definitely a miracle. And officials will be monitoring things over the coming days, maybe even weeks. They're also investigating what could cause the fire, but under these certain drought conditions, they say really any spark could have lit this ablaze. In Highlands County, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.